Hey, Scoot. Mm. Do you have the touch? Um, no, it's about 3.30 or something. After all is said and done, you never walk, you never run. You're a I love the concept of Transformers. There's fantastic stories and wonderful characters in there and some really cool designs. Unfortunately, all of those have been trashed from a live-action movie, so it's completely pointless. However, the original characters from the toys and the original comics and the original cartoons are still a lot of fun. And what we've actually seen recently is a bit of a resurgence in some of those original designs through the toys. So is this one of those new toys? This is a new toy. This is Hot Rod from Titan's Return, which is the 2017 theme for the um, Transformers Generations line. No, wait a second. Not Hot Rod from the original 1986 movie. Well, Hot Rod. technically, it could be. There's there's a lot of similarities there yeah. in terms of the design. Um, there's not really a, a storyline as such for the Titans Return toy line. Mm -hmm. So you can't really say it is, but you can't really say that it isn't. Okay. So many of the cues come from that 1986 Transformers of the movie um, you know, inspired design yeah. that you can say, look, this is just a new toy of that character with a couple of little you know, updates and, and minor twists and that sort of thing. I'm assuming, <laughs> probably not incorrectly, that he does transform into he some kind does. of robot. He does. This is not a non-transforming Transformer. This is actually a transformable Transformer, <laughs> which is the way the Transformer uh, it's, should be. It's about time. It, I think so. <laughs> this one does. Um, now, as we said, this is based very heavily on the 1986 movie design. This hot rod does have features which the original one didn't, and that we do actually have the ability to be able to open up uh, cockpit here, um, and inside we've got the key to their current toy gimmick. Uh, so this is his yeah. Titan Master, uh, which back in the days uh, was a Headmaster. The original idea of the Headmaster's gimmick back from the 80s was that Transformers heads would transform out into a smaller robot which was actually a human type character. In the comics yeah. they were very human, in the cartoon they were sort of green skin, and they were from the planet Nebulos. One of the interesting things is that the original Hot Rod toy was not a headmaster. Hot Rod was actually a target master, where he had a little robot companion uh, who transformed into his gun, and his name was Firebolt. Now we've got his Titan Master, and his name is Fire Drive. Um, and as you can see on his back, he's got Hot Rod's face, <laughs> just as a backpack. Stitched on. Sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So I want to see him transform. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, well, we do have to point out that he does have couple of guns here which you can snap together and you can actually fit those into this little driver's block, uh, the engine block mm. on the cover there. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, if it's not weird enough having guns you know, mounted on your engine, you can also fit the Titan Master into there so you can sit down inside the gun, uh, outside the car. Yeah, I think it looks fine just as a car. It doesn't need yeah. the big, the big grey guns on the top. So no, definitely not. Yeah, take away from it a bit. Okay, so... The big thing with a transformer is, of course, transforming them. So, here we go. Okay, so you've now got Hot Rod, uh, Sans' his head. So you take, take Fire Drive, pop him in, and bada bing. Cool. You've got yourself an Autobot Cavalier named Hot Rod ready to fight the bad guys. And he looks just like the Hot Rod I remember from that original movie. It's it's very close to. I mean, there's a little bit of you know, liberties taken with the design, but he's got all those bits that you remember from it. And the original toy didn't even have all that aspects to it. So this is very much that sort of the toy the way that you remember it, um, rather than how it actually was, yeah. with so much more added posability and playability, which is really really cool. Awesome color scheme as well. Really vibrant, very bright. Hot Rod. I mean, he's yeah. he's known for being that bright color. Flame design on the front there. Yeah. And um, the bright red and the orange, and the, yeah, the pipes as well look very cool. The yellow foil at the back. Great size as well, it's a nice, it's so, sort of smaller than some of the other ones, which are sometimes as big as that high. Yeah. Um, but I like that, it, it feels more like what the old ones used to be. It's a good playable sort of size. Yeah. You know, when he's a car, he's decent sized. When he's a action figure, he's decent sized as well. You get a, a good amount of use out of him that way. And these toys are a mixture of play with them and collect them, aren't they? Yeah. They're a bit of both. They're, they're great for collectors, because look at that, he looks fantastic mm -hmm. and he just can stand on your shelf as is. Yep. But you can play with them if you want to. Absolutely. Whether you're a kid or an adult, you Absolutely. can play with them. So I, I like it, and I'm glad that Transformers are still so huge and so successful. It's amazing the longevity of the Transformers brand. It's been going with only a couple of little, brief little splutters. Yeah. 
uh, right the way through from the 80s, so the fact that they're popular enough that we're revisiting those old designs again is fantastic. <laughs> Didn't even bend a fender. So that's Hot Rod. Yep. Hot Rod from the Titan Masters line from Hasbro. Awesome toy. Great nostalgia piece, plus also great fun for the people who haven't seen him before. And good that they got him out before. Michael Bay ruins the character. <laughs> Leave some comments down below, thumbs up the video, and subscribe to the channel. We're out of here for now, right? Yeah, but we'll be back with the Matrix of Leadership transforming into Rodimus Prime, or Skuimus Prime and Scottimus Prime, I guess. Yeah. Yeah.